well-known website decides to all of a sudden leak pictures of Charlie D'Amelio and Chase Hudson and expose their entire relationship to the public? Someone is behind this stunt. And I definitely know who it is. Not gonna lie, I was about to make an entire docu-series on Charlie D'Amelio and Chase Hudson and how their messy secret relationship got the internet interested in that. But, um, I knew that that would be a roller coaster of emotions and I don't want y'all to hear the same story over and over again. Since, well, there's been a lot of new updates on Charlie and Chase's relationship and how it got exposed in a second unintentionally. I don't know about y'all, but for a hot minute, I completely forgot about Charlie and Chase's relationship and it's not about me being uninterested. I just felt like I was forcing a relationship on them and trying to find any clue that could lead us to Charlie and Chase secretly dating. On the other hand, many Cha Cha Shippers accounts have also been updating their relationship as well every day, as if they knew already that Chase and Charlie are dating privately. Can you guys believe that? Now, I know I'm not going to give you the full updates that we missed on Charlie and Chase because I don't want their fandom being up my ass every second. But let's take it back to two weeks ago when Charlie was caught wearing Chase's sweatshirt in one of her TikTok videos. And y'all, even though this situation has been repeating itself every here and then, people always found it weird that both Chase and Charlie trade clothes together. On top of this, y'all, Charlie and Chase have also been attending many shows together, including Jingle Ball, iHeartRadio, and even fashion shows. Here's when things got quite intense, since as we all know, Chase has been literally camping in Charlie's house for months now. And just recently, Charlie shared a selfie with Chase on her Instagram stories, showing how they were both having dinner with Charlie's family. This situation made the TikToker Avani herself notice how Chase and Charlie have been very close together, in which she decided to confront them about it on her her podcast and y'all this is what charlie and chase had to say about each other and for chase i feel like it's nice hanging out with you because sometimes it feels like a little bit of a like escape i like to just at restaurants and talk about nothing for two hours my first impression charlie was the most mysterious mother i've chase. ever met it's literally crazy how good they are in terms of hiding their relationship from us by pretending to be friends. Because it's literally difficult to tell whether they are really in a relationship or not. However, a week after everything started going down between them, of course, an unknown photo booth website decided to take advantage of the situation and leak cute pictures of Charlie and Chase. And, um, it was all good for a while until the photo booth website leaked two more pictures of Charlie and Chase kissing, y'all. At this point, the majority of the internet was extremely surprised because no one really expected Charlie and Chase to reveal their relationship by letting a photo booth website post private pictures of them. Until the leaked photos on the website got deleted all of a sudden, in which it got confirmed later on that Charlie's manager was responsible for taking them down. Yeah, guys. Apparently, both Charlie and Chase didn't give permission mission for the photo booth website to leak their pictures on the internet and expose their relationship. But unfortunately, it's too late now since their leaked pictures are all over the internet. As a result of this, both Charlie and Chase's fandoms decided to distract the internet from the leaked photos by making the hashtags text for Charlie and text for Chase trend on Twitter as a distraction from the situation. With that being said, here's what people and Charlie's fan base had to say about the situation. Come on. Come on now, IDKY anyone is shocked. We've known they've been back together for a hot minute now. This shouldn't be a surprise. This is so sad because it's something they obviously don't want on the internet, hence why they have never posted them. Well, I saw this coming, but I'm happy. I can see this ending of the <laughs> well, it sure did, I guess. Anyways, let's talk about the most irrelevant person in the TikTok community, and that is the Hype House and how Nikita Dragon will be exposing the Hype House members very soon. Is it just me, or when someone mentions the Hype House, I completely forget that it still exists? Seriously, y'all, and I can't believe I'm talking about them in today's video, but there is some controversial stuff happening that needs to be addressed. Unfortunately, as we all know, the Hype House and 
announced last summer that they have a new reality show coming out on Netflix. And, um, despite all the backlash they received, tons of people were excited to watch the show just to criticize it and make fun of it on social media. However, it has been almost, what, six months now since the Hype House announced their Netflix show, and no one in the Hype House has given any attention to it whatsoever. As if it secretly got canceled and they were embarrassed to reveal it. But both Alex Warren and Thomas Petru revealed later this month that the Netflix show is finally coming very soon, and that there will be a lot of hidden truth in the show that will leave people shook. I'm excited for the show. I'm really excited for the show because it's something where it's like, it kind of shows what actually happens. Yeah. Everyone has like a, a, a view on what the hype house is or who the people are. And in general, it, it's a pretty big misconception. After Alex Warren confirmed that the show is officially coming, the poster for the hype house Netflix show got released days later as well. And y'all, apparently the show will premiere on January 7th. Girl, who made this poster? I just want to know. Anyways, immediately after the poster got officially released, so many people started hating on the fact that Nikita Dragon was featured in it too. In which Nikita decided to make fun of people by making a comment saying this, YTF is Nikita in it. And y'all, she even went ahead and started posting tons of shady statements on her story, basically letting everyone know that she will be exposing fake influencers in the Hype House show and she isn't afraid of the backlash she will receive from it. I know who's fake and who's real. I just play along. Y'all are about to see how your faves really act on this Netflix show. All I know is I keep it 100. After Nikita thought she did something with this, the official trailer for the Hype House show got released. And oh my god, y'all, I can't believe I'm gonna let you suffer by watching this mess with me. We have 10, 20 year olds living in a $5 million house together, filming content all day, white kids with money. When it wasn't that at all, it was just a bunch of kids with different stories. In my journey as a trans woman, whenever I walk through that door in the Hype House, all of these people have accepted me for who I am. I need to know if Chase is even gonna be a part of this anymore. Right now, I don't want something that I've worked really hard towards to fade away. Not gonna lie, this looks like a serious project because Nikita Dragon decided to look white in it. All jokes aside, y'all, here's what some had to say. Why is Nikita Dragon hanging out with these kids? Can we all petition to cancel this after the first season? A bunch of famous white kids who don't deserve the fame having a Netflix show? They're three years late on the hype. Anyways, y'all, let's end today's video with Addison Rae getting cyberbullied again. Here goes Addison Rae taking inspiration again from Nessa Barrett by being a pick-me girl. I just know people dragged her ass down for that. I don't want to address all the cyberbullying Addison has been receiving in the past, what, three years? Because I think she has already had enough. But, mm, just recently, Addison has been receiving thousands of hate comments under her new TikTok videos after she posted two videos of her trying to look cute and quirky. <laughs> These videos right here, you guys, left almost 60,000 people calling Addison Rae a pick-me girl for literally minding her own business and doing absolutely nothing. And y'all, just take a look at what the internet had to say about Addison Rae getting cyberbullied by them. This give me pick-me vibe. This about to go viral and she didn't even do anything. Yes, Addison, give us nothing. We're here for it. After the hate started piling up on Addison, she decided to hit back at one of her haters in the comments by saying this. She really rewatched this and was like, yeah, this is good to post. L-M-F-A-O. Or just posted it. If you need more controversial drama recaps, then make sure to watch my previous video right here.